Young journalist Dorothy Kilgallen is competing with two other reporters in a race around the world. And as the only woman in the race. The only woman in the race. She's, She's a modern day, day Nellie Bly. Bly. Dorothy Kilgallen is a real 30s kind of gal. She's so inspiring. She's writing a book about her experience. Dorothy, Dorothy Kilgallen, Kilgallen lands a weekly, weekly column. column. Kilgallen's column is featured in over 140 newspapers. She's known across America as the voice of Broadway. I get all my entertainment news from Dorothy Kilgallen. Sure, it's gossip, but it's about movie stars, so it's important gossip. I want to be Dorothy Kilgallen when I grow up. Oh, I just died when I read what she said about Frank Sinatra this Turning week. Turning her attention to the controversial Sam Shepard murder case. Have you read her latest article? She claims, claims the, the Sam, Sam Shepard judge, judge is crooked. So we're hearing all this now about Dorothy Kilgallen claiming that there's some deeper conspiracy with Jack Ruby shooting Lee Oswald. Look, Miss Kilgallen should stick to investigating celebrity divorces and guessing mystery movie stars on What's My Line. She, she won't, won't drop, drop it. I think she's writing a tell-all about the Kennedy assassination. Is Dorothy. Dorothy? Dorothy, what are you doing? It's time! Time? Why, it's time for everybody's favorite guessing game, What's Her Line? Brought to you by Stopette. Don't worry, no sweat. It's time for you to get Stopette, Stopette, Stopette. Let's all play What's Her Line? The game show that asks, what is her line? And now from New York, let's meet the What's Her Line panel. First, the immensely popular author of the weekly column, The Voice of Broadway, and the woman Ernest Hemingway just called one of the greatest woman writers in the world, the her who puts the her in What's Her Line, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. And to my left will be seated our guest panelist for the week but no one told me his name. Thank you, Dorothy, for that very kind introduction. And to my left, the delightful star of stage and television, the delightful Ms. Arlene Francis. She's delightful. Thank you, whoever you are. And Dorothy. Oh, Dorothy, so glad you could make it. And soon to be seated to my left, I'd like to introduce that stalwart of the publishing business and a great friend of mine. But don't tell my husband that we're pals. <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome Mr. Bennett Sayre. Thank you, Arlene. You're, what's the word I'm searching for? Oh, I'll think of it in a minute. Oh, hello, Dorothy. Well, here's that big, big cheese from that famous prep school up in New Hampshire, known to his friends as the Stilton from Tilton, our moderator, Mr. John Daly. Bennett, I am always happy for a stirring introduction, however cheesy. I'd like to welcome you all back to our 15th year of What's Her Line? Can you believe it? We haven't aged a day. No, not even you, Bennett. We are all awfully grateful to have been on the air for so many years, joined, of course, by our regulars, including the one and only Ms. Dorothy Kilgallen. Dorothy! Dorothy, we have a little something up our sleeves for you tonight. Pay close attention to each of our contestants. They all have something in common. Something in common? Something in common with me? Oh, now, Dorothy, save your questions for our contestants. We can't give it all away just yet. That wouldn't be any fun. So be sure to pay close attention. Pay, pay very, very close, close attention, attention Dorothy. Dorothy. Is it someone's birthday? What are you all acting like? And as a reminder to our home viewers, we will have two regular guest contestants and then a special celebrity guest. And remember, for that one, our panel will have to be blindfolded. No peeking, Dorothy. Well, I've been a panelist on this show for 15 years. I think I know how to play by And now, now let's meet our first challenger. 
Would you come in and sign in, please? Now, Mr. Sinatra, do you understand the rules of our game? Could you uh, run it by me one more time? Certainly, certainly. It is the duty of our esteemed panelists to guess your occupation. You mean they have to guess that I'm a singer? Yes, that's it precisely. Oh, I get it. I get it. What's someone's line? Line, like, like a job. Exactly. And every time the answer to one of their questions is a no, you will receive five dollars. A lousy five bucks? <laughs> that is correct. Well, make sure they know I'm a movie star, too. Don't let them leave that part out. Oh, I'll see to it. Let's start the questions with Ms. Francis. Ah, uh, let's see. Do you, uh, Mr. Sinatra, was it? Do you provide the sort of services that a woman such as myself or Ms. Kilgallen here would seek out? As opposed to, say, uh, Mr. Surf or our charming host. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just might. But Arlene, don't you recognize him? Is Arlene wearing you right now? Could be, could be. Bennett, that's Frank Sinatra. Are you appearing in any sort of television program right this very minute? Have you ever appeared in Dorothy's column? Did Dorothy write wonderfully scathing things about you in her column? Did that appearance in her column make you furiously violent? Frank, do you have any ties with the New York Mafia? Mafia? Mafia. Seriously, Frankie, are you in the Mafia? Are you animal? Vegetable? Mineral? Are you bigger than a bread box? Since our esteemed panel seems to be a bit stumped at the moment, perhaps our guest can provide a hint? I think that can be arranged. Sometimes a song is just a song But when it's good it gets the whole world singing And swinging along the way All the pieces fit, you've got yourself a hit. I love a hit man, a hit man with a sweet groovy beat. Yeah, that's it, man. Give me a hit man. A hit man, hear that brass oozing class. It don't quit, man. Women fall in your lap with a snap. You'll see the world with new eyes. Take a tip from old blue eyes. When you've a hit man, oh, a hit man. Common folk bow down to you, mayors give their town to you, kings will have the crown to you as fast as they can. When you've a groovy hit, hit man. If you ever write anything about me again in one of your columns, I will kill you myself. <laughs> you know, we do a lot of kidding on this show, and I think we need to let one of our panelists in on a little secret. Ms. Kilgallen, on the evening of November 7th, 1965, yes, this very night, you took a lethal combination of alcohol and barbiturates, and in the morning, you will be found dead. Was it an accidental overdose? A mob hit? Did you finally commit suicide? Was it that pesky husband of yours? It was the mob, wasn't it? <laughs> well, don't ask me. You're the investigative reporter. We'll have another contestant in just a moment after this word from our sponsors. Shy little doggy used to worry. She'd fuss and she'd frown. She'd fret until one day she said, Okay, I'll try brand new stop it. One spray blew her worries away. It got rid of all her odor and it didn't incommode her. 
poof, there goes perspiration. God worries, no sweat. It's time for you to get stop that, stop that, stop it. What's Her Line is also brought to you by Libby's latest line of chic cocktail glasses. You and your man will want to try them all. Try a tiny martini with Tony, or tell Ned you need his Negroni. Drown your struggles with Pat in a double Manhattan. Sip John's whiskey sour each hour on the hour. Drink up. When you're reaching for Richard's white Russian, don't dawdle with doleful discussion. If your future looks grim, let Sam fix you a gimlet. Sip Richard's mojito like you're a mosquito. Richard can multitask. While you quaff a corpse reviver, he's off tickling the ivory. What are you waiting for? When your projects all fail, when your prospects turn stale, answer we to Jacques and his cocktail. Fabulous cocktail glasses by Libby. Get your set before it's too late. And now, would our next contestant enter and sign in, please? Jackie. Oh. Hello, Dorothy. Jackie, you have to help me. Oh. Do I? Yes. Yes, please, you have to help me. Just like I've helped you. And just... What exactly are you referring to? With your husband, of course. You see, John, that's why I can't be dying. I'm about to blow this whole conspiracy idea right open. I have been following Jack Ruby very closely. I know who was behind all of this. And, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to officially announce on air, I am about to publish a book that is going to finally shed light on what really happened to President Kennedy. So you're welcome, Jackie. Are you vegetable? For God's sake, it's Jackie Kennedy, Arlene. Now listen, Jackie, if you'll grant me an exclusive interview right now, I'll print an unedited version of anything you'd like to share about that fateful day. We women have to help each other out. Amen, sisters. Dorothy, I admire you. You are an incredible woman, and that's coming from me. <laughs> but Dorothy, you have to let my husband rest in peace. I can't take it anymore. At this point, Dorothy, it's not about truth or justice. It's about exploiting a personal and national tragedy for the benefit of your career. And your career was all at the expense of your family. Your family, Dorothy. Think of what they will do without you. It is so hard for children to lose a parent. But I can help you. You have to let it go, Dorothy. I'm not a headline. I'm a real person. Let me help you. You, you have, have to, to let, let it go, go Dorothy. Dorothy. Time for our next segment. Hold on a moment, John. Exploitation? Personal tragedy used for entertainment? I have only ever used my power as a writer for the good of humanity. These issues need to be explored. Are you trying to silence me because I am a woman? Is it that old trope? Who is trying to silence me? Was someone trying to silence me? I remember filming an episode. This episode. I went home. Sure, I had a few drinks. You can't blame me for that. But... Was there someone there? Was there someone there in my house? We will meet tonight's mystery guest in just no. a moment. No, no, I almost remember. But first... You never know when life will start Or when your pinkies will say Hey, don't take a heart Don't miss on scary people Don't tell them the love is deeper But if you do, he'll come through We're 
now announcing our new life insurance plan for the whole family. That's right, Carrie, Jill, and Ricky Jr. You mustn't forget about Ricky Jr., Dorothy. Poor forgotten Ricky Jr. And, of course... I used to toss and turn all night. Nothing worked. Until I tried second all sodium. It's heavenly. And it's so easy to use. Almost too easy. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Only one is worth the praises. You will sleep a bang of mazes. From pulpit or podium, shout it out loud. Hallelujah! You second all sodium. And welcome back to the final segment of What's Her Line, where we ask our panelists to wear eye masks so they cannot see who our mystery contestant is. And now, Dorothy. No peeking. I know, John. And now let's have our mystery guests sign in. Let's start the questioning with Arlene. Are you a famous writer? Columnist? Reporter? Will you ever publish the truth behind the Kennedy assassination? Will you ever be remembered for more than just this silly game show? Will you even be remembered for this silly game show? <laughs> <laughs> Good point, Bennett. May we have a quick conference, dearest John? Well, Dorothy, what do you think? Has she done enough? Has she accomplished enough? Will she be remembered? You mean, it's me sitting there? The mystery guest simply isn't famous enough for us to guess her identity. Oh, I just can't think who it could be. Who's in town right now? You're saying I won't be remembered at all? But I've, but I've done so much. We're almost out of time, Dorothy. So let me take a few remaining precious moments to remind you all. Remember to pick up Stop Ed at your local store. One spray blows your worries away. Be secure like little Dottie, cut through odor like karate. Got worries, no sweat. It's time for you to get Stop Ed, Stop Ed, Stop Ed. to you that I should be remembered. Are the cameras still rolling? Wait, wait, it can't end yet. Not yet. I'm not ready. The Animal. Popular it's author so of the weekly hard. Vegetable. The voice of Broadway. And, and the so woman so Ernest so Hemingway so just called one of the greatest woman oh, writers in the, the world. world. Of her. Of her. No, everyone. You, you see, I've won awards. <laughs> I competed in a race around the world. Don't you remember? I've written front page articles on major news stories. I'm, I'm a legitimate reporter. I'm the voice of Broadway. Everyone in America knows me. I'm Dorothy Kilgallen. Ah, I'm afraid we are all out of time. What a shame. Let's all thank tonight's special mystery guest. Good night, Dorothy. 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 This can't be the end. Dorothy Kilgallen was found dead last Dorothy night. Dorothy Kilgallen died from an overdose of alcohol Dorothy and barbiturates. Dorothy Kilgallen died from an overdose of alcohol and barbiturates. It's so sad. I watched her every week for 15 years. <laughs> I watched her every week for 15 years. What, what do you, you think, think happened? happened? What do you think happened? Well, I can tell you exactly what happened. She messed with the wrong people. They're saying it's the mafia. They're saying it's the government. They're saying she drank herself to death. she drank herself to death. A likely story. That's what they want you to believe. There are plenty of people in this world with deep Pockets. The whole thing, thing was, was a conspiracy. conspiracy. I am in shock. I'm in shock. I can't believe it. She, she was, was too young. young. I heard she was only 52 she years old. only 52 years old. I wonder if she already submitted this week's column. I'll miss her. Dorothy who? Who cares?